hey this week i will take a look on how to use ssh bastion host or ssh jump host with the ansible tower so on my configuration on here i got uh, on lower the ansible tower host and on the left corner I got that uh, bastion host uh, on the same network and also on the same network than the right corner internal host which uh, cannot be accessed from from this Ansible tower host directly so I will quickly demonstrate so I cannot be connected from from this Ansible tower host that internal host which is this right corner computer but I can connect from this Ansible tower computer this uh, bastion host computer which is in same network than the Ansible tower why use jump host or this kind of a bastion host to connect internal network it's a security purpose to expose expose internal network little as possible so if you got your internal network like avs or something like that public network so you can protect your internal network with this this kind of a setup but let's jump into how to create uh, this kind of a setup or to use this bastion host so uh, this kind of a setup re required some some sort of a um, service count on on this uh, target host and bastion host because it's uh, this will use uh, for the authentication uh, public key authorization so i will manually create these uh, users on this host and add add some uh, privileges to run all commands without asking password and also add uh, that uh, SSH key to uh, on authorization keys file no. but first I will create that uh, private and public key for the Ansible tower and uh, you should copy that key proper proper folder not the root folder like i did but uh, i will copy the private key private key and the public public keys uh, public key to those target hosts but let's copy first that private key So I will copy this private part to uh, on on credential on Ansible Tower. So let's create that Ansible service service account and credential type type should be uh, machine type and copy that private key on SSH private key part of part. And set the username and a password is not required on this case because it's a service service count and um, some Linux or distros not required password on on user account like a CentOS. So next I will create those service count Ansible service account on, on bastion host and internal host and 
as you can see here I added some comments which should should uh, run when when you create create your automated discount creation so the um, two key part is here that uh, this server count have a right to run uh, all command without asking a password prompt and uh, also that authorized keys have that uh, public key part on it so I little bit cut down this user creation part So let's test this uh, key authentication and newly created user and it seems to work. So let's let's add these values on on the Ansible Tower part. So we let's create a new inventory and add those values on it. So on this var variables um, box you can identify it, uh, also Windows connection or other connection types. So modify the username to match yours and also that uh, username on, on the SSH common arguments also need to be changed. And, uh, the Bastion host IP address also need to match match yours. After these values are added, you can start adding host on this inventory. So let's add our test host in, uh, on this inventory and test run some playbook against this host. At last, we can test this. SSH jump host with the Ansible tower. So let's add credentials on this playbook and a proper inventory and save these settings and run this playbook. Little hassle with the uh, typo on, on the playbook but it seems that the playbook can be run against that host but there is missing a python library so it cannot be run the update on, on that internal host so but we can verify the connection from the authentication log from internal host so as you can see the last connect SSH connection was uh, recreated on the both service account so this connection seems to work if you did like this video hit the subscribe button and like button or hit that disc dislike button also